49ers update. It is confirmed George Odom has indeed torn his biceps muscle. It's going to be out two to four months and very likely done for the season. There's an outside shot that the 49ers defensive back can return for the back end of a playoff or a Super Bowl run, but the 49ers should not count on it. And this is a significant loss, even though George Odom was a backup safety. He was actually the NFL's special teams tackle leader last season. And he's number two in the NFL this year with 10 special teams tackles, just one off the lead. So the 49ers are going to need to make up for this. The special teams unit hasn't been great this year in coverage. So when you lose your best cover guy and you haven't been good to begin with, somebody's got to step up. Maybe it's going to be Darrell Luter Jr., who had one of the key plays of the season yesterday on that first kick return for Seattle. I mean, Luter, this guy's a dude. If you can run that fast, if you got that kind of burst, with that kind of size, because he's not a small DB, well, maybe you could be the player that makes up for the 49ers' loss of George Odom. But the 49ers are going to have to make a move at safety because they've lost two of them in the course of about five days. Talano Hufanga to IR with a torn ACL. He's done for sure for the year. George Odom probably done for the year. Great news for the 49ers is that Jair Brown didn't really hear from him, and you don't want to hear from him in terms of broken coverages. What a performance to come in in a pinch as he did against Tampa Bay, deliver those three pass breakups, including that interception, and then to play such a solid game with only one missed tackle against the Seattle Seahawks. Jair Brown is a dude as well. 49ers are really benefiting from their great drafting, the depth that they've accumulated on this team, but they are gonna have to make a decision at safety. Maybe you move Taylor Hawkins up from the practice squad. That is a position where the 49ers are a little bit thin right now. They need to make sure that special teams stays on track even without George Odom, one of the great special teams aces in the National Football League. He's been a special teams all pro before. So this is a key loss for a 49ers team that's still looking to start firing on all cylinders special teams wise. I will say that after that first kick return, after Darrell Luter Jr. made the touchdown saving tackle, the 49ers actually had the special teams upper hand against Seattle, which is rare. And that was a big part of this game yesterday. Philly's got a good special teams unit as well. So this is going to be a challenge for the 49ers. I'm in the Music Row area of Nashville. I'm going to go get some good food. Maybe we'll feature some of that as we continue to talk about the 49ers today. There's your update. We'll talk to you soon.